we're starting? This yeah. is the recording? Yeah, you're good Please to go. upload this part. I will. Okay, this is the camera I'm looking to. Good. Okay, got it. Hey, everyone. Hey, how are you? This is uh, Painting with James. Um, super exciting, fun times. We basically, we got a whole bunch of miniatures, as you can see here. Ooh, fuck, my hands are huge. No, small. This way. Here we go. Yeah. Uh, minis, this is from the game The Others yep. by Cool Mini or Not. Um, so we got a whole bunch of really neat looking fellows like these uh, sloth demons. Focus, please. Yeah, it's coming. And I'm just kind of rambling now. But yeah, so what we're going to do today is so like... Should I sloth guy again? I can get the focus on it. Um, kind of. He's... Oh my god, that's good focus. Look at that. Fucking... Yeah. I swear a lot too. So everything's primed in white because Patrick is a monster and only has white primer, not black primer like a normal human. Um, and uh, yeah, so we're just going to kind of go through this. We're going to be playing it on playing board games. Mm -hmm. And so just bit by bit here, I'm going to plow through them with Justin. And so today I got the major sloth demons <coughs> and I primed all the heroes. And uh, so the plan is just to kind of get started and see where it takes us. And yeah, we're just going to talk about things. Yeah, things and stuff. And there's music on the uh, underneath. So yeah. if it's too loud and you're watching this on YouTube, you've missed your chance. It's already, it's already too loud for the majority of it then. Oh, man. Okay, so, um, I mean, geez. Yeah, what are you going to start with? Uh, like I said, I'm probably just going to touch them up with some... Uh, white here because whenever you do primer it's always hard to get all the nooks and crannies so i always like to start off with just making sure that you know black primer you do black it's real easy real simple they even have oh i guess i should also mention uh I, previously i used citadel paints quite a bit um but i've slowly been transitioning over to uh vallejo paints i don't know if i'm saying that right uh, v a l l e j o. Vallejo, yeah, that's a to me. Acrylicos, acrylicos Vallejo. Uh, but yeah, so just acrylic paints. Been transitioning over to these guys. Um, I just, they're uh, substantially cheaper actually, and I just the selection of colors is pretty good still. So they actually have different lineups here. Like this is uh, for models and like military paint. Like this is dark Prussian blue. But they also have rebranded their more popular colors into this game lineup. So they have some really high impact for like fantasy games and stuff. But then they also have like airbrush ready ones for military vehicles and stuff. So like not only is the color selection awesome, you can also find the color in like whatever application you're looking for. So that's fucking wicked. So I'm going to be using a combination. Uh, any other paint, especially Tamaya, is shit. So is Humbrol. Humbrol can go eat me. There you go. Yeah. Put it on the box. <laughs> Fuck Humbrol. Yeah, Humbrol can go eat me. Um, so yeah, the, what we're going to do here is I just got a big old brush that I'm going to stick in some white paint here and I'm going to make sure I got all the nooks and crannies uh, these guys painted. But I want to start with these sloth demons. So, oh man. Actually, let's start with this werewolf that I just missed an entire part of, apparently. <laughs> Werewolf's like the hide. But that's uh, great. Not that it even matters because this brush wasn't washed properly. So now it's just painting a blue white anyway. <laughs> so it's the same color that he was molded in. Well, you know. <laughs> How serendipitous. Terrible movie. Oh, Serendipity? I don't know. I've I don't never know seen either. it. That I remember. Maybe yeah. I've seen it. So, Justin, what's new? I've been I'm high from like, these. You're like. <laughs> from these <laughs> mushrooms. I'm like. Oh, oh man. the primer fumes? Yeah, and you were spraying it in like two rooms away and I'm just still like... Buzzed off it? Yeah. I love that primer smell. <laughs> that I think that's aerosols. Though. That's the yeah, pink that, ex that explains your, uh, your headaches. <laughs> headaches, nosebleeds, trouble concentrating. So I'm excited to uh, see these minis all painted. Normally I don't care about this kind of stuff, but like... This game looks cool enough that it's worth it. And, uh, I mean, I gotta hang out with James. I haven't seen him in a while, so... Yeah. I live under a rock now. You know, I also live under a rock. No, you live above ground, you liar. It's true, okay, I live above a rock, if that's better for you. Yeah. It's just doing the turn of phrase, but I'm sorry, I forgot <laughs> that doesn't work for you. No, because I literally live under rocks. I live underground. 
Like so I've, man. I've, have you, I've started playing Smite. Have you seen Smite? I've heard of Smite. It's like the MOBA, yeah. where you play a bunch of different gods. Essentially, that's like, as far as I got it, so I was like, new MOBA, and I was like, out. It's pretty, it's pretty fun, and I like it a lot better than, I've tried a lot of the other ones. Yeah. But because it's third person. Yeah. And you are actually in the battle, right? Yeah. And that's why it's, it's a bit more exciting that way. And I fucking love mythology, and all the gods are super sick. Yeah. Like, there's a bat god. You have to pick a god, though. That's how gods work. Yeah. You pick one. And you, can, you can't choose any other. Who's your deity? My deity, right now I'm playing as fucking, he's a, what's his name? Has. Is God just an option for that game? No, no, can you, I don't think there's any Christian ones yet. Damn. Uh, they're probably gonna... Any Christian <laughs> ones? One. Well, there's <laughs> Jesus. You can play as Jesus. I'd even no. take like. Uh, Jesus four... is not a god. How dare you? I'd even take like. Um, like John the Baptist. John the Baptist. Maybe if you played as like Jesus as a lesser character with the 12 disciples, like that was the whole character. Uh, right now I'm playing Guan Yu, the Chinese saint of war. That's yeah, really... he's just a saint. Guan Yu. He's, yeah. uh, he's Liu Bei's brother in arms. Yeah, he's uh, he's pretty sick. Yeah, he's, he is. He's one of the free characters. But he's, he's got like a big long beard too. Right? But what I'm saying is, James, is that you should play it so I can play with you. Is there Zhang Fei? Uh, play if there's Zhang Fei. Now I'm just playing Dynasty Warriors with you. No. What about Gundams? Are there Gundams? No. Mm. There's there's fucking. Well, who, who's your favorite god from like uh, mythology? Yeah. Man, maybe, maybe Bast from Egyptian. There's Bastet. Yeah. Yeah, the cat. Yeah, the cat god who got drunk and killed people. Yeah, she's she's here. Cool. Okay. There's also, I mean, there's like my favorite is the fucking bat god from the Aztec religion. Yeah. Or the Mayan religion. He's fucking the sick. bat god. Canvas of dots. Sounds pretty intense, yeah. but I'm not a mobile guy. No, neither am I, but then I was like, oh wait, this is actually super fun. Because uh, Mark and Matt, they made me download uh, um, War Thunder or whatever it was. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. And like, I had fun for like the first two minutes where I was just flying around and I wasn't interacting with new other players. Mm -hmm. And then other people started showing up and I was like, fucking other people ruined really video Well, games. they also have in Smite, it's really, it's it's nice, they have a battle arena mode, which is more like a death match. Yeah. As opposed to the MOBA form of protecting your creep to get yeah. to the thing. I hate, I think that's really all it is, is I just hate, it's, Micromanaging one unit in an RTS, and I love the RTS experience, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. but I hate armies that make you control ground to progress. Yeah. That's that not my sense. jam. Basically, I'm saying Protoss is the best toss. Sea Otter has it going. That, and, that, and that's why Spite, reson Spite resonates with me. No, yeah. Well, Spite also resonates with me. <laughs> but Spite's my favorite activity. But Smite works so well because because you're on the ground, yeah. I feel like it's more of an action game because, you know. Sorry, maybe I should be like painting over here. No, you're just painting just, white right now. Yeah, I know, but I'm still. As opposed to just like, ha ha, you can't see it. Like, I'm just over here for two minutes and I'm perfect. Yeah, <laughs> God, we nailed it. Um, <laughs> Chance, will you paint my Descent and Zombicide minis for free? Uh, we had a payment plan that we talked about. I don't know, if, uh, what did, what, Zombicide? It was like link, link it. I want to see it. Link it. Sure, I can. I can do it for you. Yeah. Let me see him. If I like him, I might. But you also got to send me like a high five or something. But like not your hand. Please don't cut off your hand and send it. Yeah. I mean, I, 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 I could. Yeah, I could. I could. Yeah, but now, right now I've, I've just I've just signed him in uh, on the others. On the others. Yeah. So. This is my future, though. Commissions. Yeah, I mean he's doing this for free. Shut up. <laughs> <laughs> I'm doing this for boatloads of money. I'm gonna offer a blowjob, but a high five would work. Yeah, you That's know, like I'm kind of cummed out today, so. <laughs> Man, I'm always cummed out. Sometimes after, at the end of the day, I'm like, how can a body come so much? Yeah, man. Can ride my bike with no it's just... No that's it. Yeah, what a nightmare. What are we listening to? Handlebars. Let's uh, change it. 
Sure. Because that's going to annoy the shit out of me. <laughs> how do I change the song in the short clip? I can't. Boom. What's Descent? What are those minis? Um, they're kind of more fantasy minis. Mmm, I like fantasy. I do too. Anything with fucking dragons and shit like that is my jam! Did you ever beat Demon Souls? No, no, I never beat that one. No. I mean, I want to, but... Do you own it? I do. Okay, I was gonna say, because I can fucking lend it to you if you don't. Yeah, I own all of them. I haven't beat it yet, but just, like... Dark Souls, well, I don't know about Dark Souls 3, but Dark Souls 2 fell super flat with me. I agree. Um, just, like, after you get to Majula Oblongata, um, that's a great joke there. It is, that is good. Um, thank you for the resounding response. Well, I was like, I was like, what is it actually called? Majula, Majula yeah. but it's the Majula Oblongata. Yeah. Um, but it's like the brain hub of the world. After that, like, the environment's just, like... They become a bit too... Like, here's Lava Castle, here's Poison Swamp. And just the flow wasn't there that was in the original Dark that's, Souls. That's, like, Dark Souls 3's, like... It's not as good as Dark Souls 1 to me. Yeah. I always feel like your first is going to be your favorite. Yeah. Right? Because you love it so much. But that's, like, Demon Souls to me, even though it's got that weird hub world and the Nexus and everything, just the environment... Dark Souls 3 is pretty much just, like, Demon Souls. Yeah. That's done. Is it? Yeah. That's neat. Um, it's like basically a mix of Demon Souls and Dark Souls. Yeah. Um, and there's a lot of cool references to each. Like, even beyond just like, here's the armor, here's the guy with the big yellow hat that shows up in the middle of each game. Yeah. Um, Justin, that's not a thing. <laughs> oh, I just drank like, him. That guy doesn't just come into your room whenever yeah. you play. Um, but like... I agree wholeheartedly with Dark Souls 2. The problem is I, I need to beat Dark Souls 3 and Demon Souls, but they just, and Bloodborne as well, but they just all stress me out when I play. I'm like, I beat a boss and I'm like, Roger Dodger, I'm gonna go sit and meditate on this for a few weeks. <laughs> yeah. I, uh, yeah, because I tried booting up uh, Dark Souls 2 to get through it, and I was like, I'm gonna beat Dark Souls 1. I was like, I'm gonna beat Demon Souls, but then I was just like remembering a big amount of the time, the games that I beat are the ones that I'm not that all enthralled in because I don't care enough to mm -hmm. experience Explore. the game. Unless it's just... XCOM. Well, yeah. <laughs> but I mean, limited exploration there, but yeah. I've beat XCOM about... I don't think I've beat a game as much as XCOM other than like Super Nintendo games. Yeah, I'll well, check. So I, I still... Do uh, you want to just turn number one off for a second? can't have that. Um, yeah, I remember when I was like, hey James, have you played XCOM? And you're like, no. And I'm like, James, trust me. <laughs> you're gonna love XCOM. It's been my <laughs> game of the year. For many years. Like it? It's a really good game. Like, I don't blame you. It's very good. Even though... No, no, no. When did XCOM 2 come out? January? I think so, Or is yeah. it December? I don't remember. Because I remember it being a toss-up when they were like, they were both slated for uh, 2015 releases, but I think XCOM 2 might have been 2016, I don't remember, but uh, it was going to be a toss-up between Metal Gear 5 and XCOM 2 for my game of the year, Yeah. and I really don't want to pick. Just do XCOM again, trust me. <sighs> but, like, Metal Gear, my heart. Your heart lives in Metal Gear. So du Descend is Fantasy, Dungeon Crawl Objective Game. And Zombicide, Zombicide is a Black Plague release, which is also a fantasy extended. So, knights. You love knights. Paladins. Glory. Mm -hmm. Dragon mm -hmm. slaying. Yep, mm -hmm. yep. Saving people. Stronger than all. Mm -hmm. Stronger than all. Basically, if I could find any of the subject matter being a song from Hammerfall or Blind Guardian, I'm, I'm into that. Yep. Yeah. No, I don't blame you. So, you know, cannibalistic butcher, hearts on fire. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So you're starting with these uh, pride figures, these are the ones, or I sloth just, figures. Sloth figures. They just look neat to yeah. me, because I'm, I'm going to do like a, well yeah, where's the reference here? Because I'm going to take inspiration, but not go exactly. So it's like these guys, yeah. yeah. So. You can even put it, yeah. What's up? 
Oh man, look at that. I'm like, can you eat me? <laughs> so yeah, that's uh, those are the yeah. sloth figures. So I'm going to take inspiration off that. Well, basically, I thought they were going to be pink. I didn't really think they'd be orange at the bottom. I think I want to make them a little more, a little less orange, a little more like red bloody. Nice. Can you throw in some purple too? Uh, yeah, I could. Yeah, I good. could. I know you're making their arms look like they're purple. like they're pussy, like yeah. their pus balls purple. Mm. Gross. <laughs> <laughs> That's gross, Justin. <laughs> <laughs> that is just. What would your mother say? You know, she'd be like, that here's accurate. the perfect example. Her and I were playing Elder Sign one day when I was like, when I still lived at home and I wanted to play board games. And, and like, I only play board games once a week, right? Yeah. And I was like, hey mom, do you want to play this board game? It's like Yahtzee. And she was like, not sure what you did for the link on the channel on Twitter, but it does not work. That's a, that's a shame. Let me go look at that, Mike. I'll fix that. I'll try to fix that problem. Hi, Mike. Um... Uh, and she, I was like, so do you want to use a spell? And she was like, yeah, I'll use a spell. And then um, she was like, I'm like, which one do you want to use? They're all the same. And she's like, I want to use this one. It's called Flesh Ward, and I don't like the name. So. <laughs> oh, I see why. It's playing board games TV. Why is that work? The link works for me, Mike. Yeah, the link works for me. I just click it and it opens our channel. Mike needs a new computer. Yeah, it just opens our channel. It's working for me. I don't know why it's not working for you. Maybe, I'd, maybe I don't know. Maybe it's cursed. I wouldn't put a put a past anything. Pashed? Yeah. Put it up to pasture. Have you played any new games lately, James? Board games? No, no. Uh, video games. Um. Horizon 3, Forza Horizon 3. I don't know I'm you... trying to fix it as well, so I might have fixed it. There we go. I don't know if... Uh... You probably fixed it, Mike. You can uh, really call that a new game. Forza Horizon? Yeah. I uh, Cody had that game when he lived here, and I played it. It's very fun. Yeah. It's like a more arcade version of Forza. <sighs> yeah, except the thing is, you can set it up to be like race just like simulator, mm -hmm. which is neat, but at the same time, the environment doesn't lend itself to that, so that kind of sucks. Uh, but beyond that, I just, I went to EB Games and I just can't tell you how much I hate that place, and especially the one in Sherd Park. Um, I shouldn't say that, but like anytime I've been to the Sherd Park location, there's, I don't want to point any fingers or say anything, but there's a specific staff member there that whenever I'm there, he never fails to make the experience unrewarding and uncomfortable. And like, there's this awkward tension and just like... Yeah, come on, Greg. Yeah, Greg. Um, it always feels like he's just... Oh, I outed him as a he, so whoops. Perfect, Mike, thank you. Like, nothing out. against him. He's never said or done anything bad. It's just like... He rubs you the wrong way. The way he presents himself, yeah. to me, feels like his life, his wife, hit him with divorce papers right before he left for a shift. Oh, I gotcha. Like, and it's just like that experience every time. Um, is it Forza Horizon 3 you're playing? Yeah. Oh, it's quite new. Yeah, it's very yeah. new. So I went and I... Because I don't play my Xbox One at all. Yeah. So I went and traded in every game that wasn't Halo, Forza... What was the other? Rock what Band? Was? Yeah, Rock Band. Yeah. Forza, Halo, or Rock Band. Um, and I just, um, I got Horizon 3 for like five bucks. Nice. Uh, Cast Slack, how's it going? I, uh, yeah, so I've been, I've been playing that. That one's neat and fun, but I wasn't going to buy it. But then I found out it's in Australia. Mm. And I was like, neat. I love Australia. Um, actually, I shouldn't say that. I love Australian accents. <laughs> so... Classic James. Yeah. Uh, and then I looked at the car list, <laughs> and uh, you could get, like, I love cars, so. Oh, yeah. Yeah. You, know. you know. What? You you love cars? No. Yeah. But, yeah, so I looked at the car list, and there were some pretty neat ones in there. And for the first time in my life, I bought a Ford, and I didn't immediately buy the, like, $70 VIP every car pass. That's how you know you're getting older. I know.
I did buy the first DLC pack though, because it's called the Crown Vic, which is now my daily driver car. Yeah, so. there's, there's so many things in life that I just afterwards I've I've done it and like oh, that's how I know I'm getting older. I, I can't like I I can't do like five like four hours sleeps anymore, right? Four hour sleeps? Yeah. Why not? I just get too too done afterwards. Oh like, man! In the like, morning, I'm like, fuck. What's the point? If I like, I have to make the decision to do a four hour sleep. Like if I go to bed. Yeah, sorry I'm not on camera here, guys. I'm just, like, I'm doing a whole bunch of white base coating, so it's really boring. Um, like, here, let me show you. That's what, I, that's what I'm <laughs> doing right now, so. Hey, Insert Straw here. Yeah. How's it going? Um, if I make the decision, if I look at the clock and it's, like, midnight 30, and I'm like, I'm really wide awake. I'm going to go to bed late. So then I think about my next day, and I'm like, okay, how long do I have to survive before I can pound out a nap? <laughs> yeah. Right? <laughs> The nap index. Yeah. And, you know, it's a risk-reward thing. No, I get you. So, but I do I do try to leave a minimum of five hours. Like, I really cannot function as a human. I usually, I, I usually do six. Six is what I try for. And then I sleep in an extra two hours and make it eight. Yeah. Uh, so that's like base coat. Are you base coating with a layer paint? With this? Yeah. Uh, yeah, this is a layer. Just so. to... You got, he, he's not. Is he? Is he? You're, so are you base coating? Or are you just like? I am base coating right now, but I hate the base. The Citadel's new base coats are to me what your dry brushes should be. So I hate them. Mm. So I use I use the layer, and then basically I do two layers, and that's to me what a good base coat is. Because I don't know why they stopped making them with these fucking foundation paints with a bomb diggity. They'll cover anything. But yeah, they reformulated and now they don't use them anymore. Did you see a green screen insert straw here? That's a nightmare. What do you mean? I don't know. Green screen insert here? No, insert straw here only sees a green screen. Oh. You added some words in there. <laughs> oh. uh, okay, that now sounds to me Perfect. like a flash issue or something. It was, uh, the Twitch recently updated their player and there's been a few problems that have uh, uh, arisen from it. Arisen. Yes. Oh man, I've been playing new games, but I did uh, pound out a few hours in Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen. Nice. That game is fucking wicked. Nice. So, yeah, I've only played a bit of Dragon's Dogma, but it was very fun. But then, you know, you just stop playing it, and then it's so hard to get back into some games. Yeah, like Dragon's Dogma barely gives you direction when you are playing. So hop back into it. Like, I'm in my uh, fucking... Uh, Quest line, it's like search for this Grim Gromar book. And you know how your pawns are supposed to like, you talk to them and they're supposed to like give you hints as to what to do? Yeah. So I talked to my pawn and she's like, Perhaps we should look for that book? <laughs> Perhaps we should look for that book. <laughs> and I'm just like, No. Fuck idea. you! Yeah, no <laughs> idea. <laughs> it's got like a map marker. It's like, search this fucking fortress of thieves. And like, I've been through that fortress about 12 times. And I'm like, what the fuck am I missing here? My favorite was when Curtis sent me the link from one of the Dragon's Dogmas, where at the end, the final boss brings in the char the person that your character loves the most. Yeah. And, like, threatens Slaughters them. them. And they threaten them. Yeah. I mean, like, if you don't, I will kill them. But you can make it so that you fall in love with a dumb jester from the court that's only in the game for a little bit. Quest, go find this book. Hint, we probably need to locate a book. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's how it goes. That was exactly it. And I'm kind of pissed off because I just changed vocations. Uh, so now none of my heavy armor fits and I'm running around in my underwear. And mm. So is my pawn. And then I also have like Curtis's pawn hired. Yep. And she's like a fucking level 100 mage. <laughs> And so she's got this weird mage getup going on, and like th she's so helpful, but at the same time so useless because all her spells are so high level they take forever to get off. Mm -hmm. But they'll like shave a troll's health Jesus. so fast. But it's like I gotta make sure I'm just standing in front of her, blocking everything. She's a glass. She's literally a glass cannon. Pretty much. So. And I just, I hired her to cheat my way through this one quest. 
where you have to escort a guy through these witch woods and like as you go through them like trolls just come out of fucking nowhere and he's the kind of guy who's like are you a bandit <laughs> and then like gets stabbed in the throat like you know so dumb the ai was just impossible and i couldn't not fail the quest and you only get one shot one opportunity um so i was like fuck it i'm gonna hire curtis's superpower mage pawn yeah and just just yeah uh, whatever happens with this stream, I'm, I'm gonna leave, I'm at the very least using you to farm additional music for my collection. You know, James and I, we were like, do we need more? Do we need music for today? Yeah, and and it's just like it's nice. It's kind of more chill. It is chill. I mean, I listen to music when I paint to my own or yeah. watch documentaries on, you know. And I mean, like these are going up on YouTube, but I don't care about monetizing them. So. Yeah. I know. I don't care about monetizing anything. I'm so excited to see. Yeah, shut up, James. Just keep painting. <laughs> yes, sir. Don't give me that look. I'm excited to start seeing these guys get all covered in paint. Yeah. How many minis do you have left to heroes? I'm basically done. Nice. I'll probably have to like, as I grab one, I'll probably have to touch it up in places, but that's not allowed. Well, prepare for some sub-quality paint <laughs> jobs then. You know, you're doing it for free, so. I'm going to go not for a James standard on this, I'm going to do what they call tabletop standard. Yeah. Where yeah. Just, you don't, you're not embarrassed to have it on yeah. the tabletop, but it's, it's not like... There. Which is why I didn't shave the mold lines. Can you guys see this? Look at these fucking mold lines on this, Tom. Give me a second. It's going to drive me nuts when I do a wash and it just hugs right in there. Ugh. Oh, wow. That's a fucking sloth hat. What's up? Me. <laughs> Fuck. Can't do this backwards. This is like the fucking pat in your head and rubbing your tummy. Yeah. Can't do it. Okay, who do I want to... Which one of these poses looks neatest? I want to do these wide open maw guys after I get a technique down, so they're out for first. And I got this weird guy who looks like he's bowling. Does he not look like he's bowling to you? He does. Do you want to show them? Yeah, I do. Yeah, he looks like he's bowling. He's ready for bowling? Yeah. Which is not drug slang. What? Bowling. <laughs> it just tells you how many drugs I don't do. Yeah. <laughs> You guys want to go bowling? <laughs> cool. Fuck so then uh, you probably just want to, uh, probably right here is where you'll want to paint them on. That's right where your head is. Probably a bit more right over there. There you go. That's probably where you want to paint them. Neat. All right. What are you starting with? Well. Oh, you're giving yourself a little paint mark. Yeah. Room. A little, a little fucking mark here. Yeah. I mean, we could have done it with a sharpie. <laughs> it's painting with James. Yeah, Not sorry. Coloring. I guess I, sh I guess I should. I'll, I'll let I'll, I'll let you do your, your your majestic work, my friend. My my thing here. So you said you want this guy painted brass, right? <laughs> you just all I know is gunmetal gray. Yeah. <laughs> just a box full of like. You guys can't see this. This is my big paint box. That's kind of yeah. That's the bottom go. of it. Oh, but I show this camera. That's a lot easier. Yeah. I'm a problem solver, I tell ya. Okay, what do we need here? We're going from brown, brown. Luminous pink, we do need pink purple. on these. Like, these guys are gonna be pink. Pink? Oh, they're gonna be more than pink. They're Ooh. gonna be Old Rose. Old Rose, That's nice. my mom. That's a, <laughs> Old Rose is the name of a fucking ba uh, glam metal band from the 70s. Oh yeah, it is. Except more 80s. They used to be called Rose. Yeah. <laughs> Old Rose. Uh, what else do I need here? Ooh, yeah. I'm gonna start with black red instead of Rhinox Hide. Brown. Dark brown, let's call it. Here we go. Okay, first things first, whenever you're painting, get all your paints, give them a good old mix. I really hope you just, and there's just like one color, and you're yeah. like, magic. <laughs> and you're like, that cost me $40. <laughs> Man, how much paint am I holding right now? Five, uh, five bucks, five bucks, 10 bucks, 15, 20, 25. Now here's where it gets tricky. 25, these guys are 350 a piece. So what's, that's six, seven, six, seven bucks. So seven bucks for two. 28, 32 ish. No, whatever. 30, 35, 35 bucks. So I was really close with 40. Yeah. Okay, so 
And here we go. Got to get yourself a nice little palette when you're using these Vallejo paints because they're not pots like Citadel, which is good or bad depending how you look at it. Um, but I prefer these little squeeze bottles because it lets you put out as much paint as you want. Mm -hmm. And after you've used one for a while, if you just need a dab, you don't need to pour it, you just yeah. dab the top. It's nice. It's Yeah. Cool. <laughs> uh, James has accepted that math will never be his thing. Oh, man. Only subject I ever dropped out of. Yeah, I, had my, I ended my math 30 with 30%. Because I ended I my math 30 with a piece. You know, the reason is because I was too busy skipping class to go hang out with my girlfriend at the time. So I remember I skipped class to go hang out at your school. Yeah, that was fucking, that was a great day. Yeah, it was a good no day. No teacher cared. No, <laughs> not one. They're just like, ah, there's a loose cannon. Yeah. <laughs> Okay, let's uh, let's bust out. So math thirty is uh, the not op the not mandatory grade twelve math we have in our high school. Yeah, there's math thirty, math thirty like pro. Mm -hmm. These aren't the terms for it. No, thirty is 30, pro. No, thirty is not pro. Thirty oh. is normal. No, thirty one is pro. This... And thirty three is dumb. Oh, I thought it was applied math was the dumb one at my school. I don't, might know. Be. I don't remember. That was almost 10 years ago. So anyway, I was in Math Pro both like um, for 10 yeah. and 11. Yeah. I almost forgot what came between 10 and 12. <laughs> for 10 and 11. Um, well, actually what was funny in my mind is I didn't know what the fuck it was called other than Elf's thing. Um, and... Uh, I tried and I tried and I tried to do math 30 for like yeah. three weeks. And then my teacher was like, you're failing everything. What's up with that? I was like, oh, my parents are getting divorced. I'm not coming back to class. Yeah. That's, not, that's a good <laughs> And he was just like, oh. Yeah. And that's how I dropped into math 30. I didn't do it officially or anything. Yeah. Yeah. The math thing is very, is confusing. I agree. All classes are confusing like that. All right. So James is going to do something. Like, this is the thing. Like, I'm so bad at painting. Yeah. I'm just watching James with wonderment right now. I'm excited to see what he's about to do. Base coats. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> so you're not in the circle. Yeah. <laughs> Made the mark and pulled him right out of it. See, this is why Patrick's a dummy for uh, having white primer because now all the recesses might show up light as opposed to dark because this isn't a wash. Yeah. Well, next time James will know to yeah. forgot his uh, I'm pretty primer. sure I asked him, like, was he planning on using lighter colors or darker ones? And he said lighter, so I was like, okay, so you want the skull white front? Yeah. I think I'm yelling at him for something I told him to do. No, that's, that's perfect. So with my base coats, I like to make them nice and watery, but not quite runny um, because I like to do... When I'm doing flesh tone stuff like this, I like to do a base coat and then a wash is kind of my technique. So, um, and then after that wash, I'm going to do a dry brush and then I'll start doing, uh, you know, kind of some details, I guess you could say. But this guy is completely experimental. We don't know how he's going to go because he is the first others mini I'm trying here. Then sometimes you get some real frustrating bits like this. How can I show you no, guys? Here, let me... The roof of his mouth here, like you just can't get a brush in there. It's kind of annoying, but yeah. So this is this is the Vallejo uh, black red, and it's the dopest color for base coating flesh. As long as you're not racist and you know don't think your base coat of flesh should be uh, yellow. Hmm. Good save. I actually tried on those uh, scout minis. Um, I have a test bed head that I was testing the different fleshes on because I was trying to do different flesh tones for them all. Well, I set out with the intention to, but just like finding a color combo that didn't look as good as the one I did find was mm -hmm. just beyond me. So i uh i they're all gonna have the same skin tone but i actually started with like a green base coat to try and give some of them like an olive skin tone yeah just nope. Don't, yeah, yeah, no. <laughs> i love it because now this is the part that it's official that i cannot come back from my minis for the others they have now committed to being painted and right now this looks like a piece of chocolate yeah well <laughs> i mean if you want i could just paint them all this color <laughs> just all chocolate <laughs> 
<laughs> You're like, I'm hungry. Let's get some chocolate. Yeah. Actually, I did tell Laura today that I was going to buy the biggest box of mandarin oranges I could find. Okay. Yeah, well, they're in season now. They are. Yeah, it's good. I'm excited. I love mandarin oranges. That's the only reason I like Christmas. Oh, that's dark. Why? Because Christmas has, uh... Has oh, I'll give you a hug. I'll give you a hug at Christmas. What? I'll give you a hug. Yeah. Do you want a hug? No. Okay. I All right, now I'm painting. Oh, that's, that's good. Although, if you were going to hug me, base coats are the time to do it. <laughs> Sorry, I was actually just, I was bluffing. Yeah. Yeah, I know. I know. I wasn't getting amped up for that. It's just playing hug chicken with you. Yeah. Yeah, I'm sorry. I did this. Oh, man. Any questions from our lovely viewers? So they say, I think that a lot of really detailed minis pretty much require an airbrush. No. And then I have an airbrush, most temperamental piece of metal I've ever used. Uh, do you have a dual action or single action? Oh, I don't have any. Yeah, no, I'm asking whoever said that. Who said that? Uh, Cass Flack said that. Who? Cass Flack. Cass Flack? Yeah. Like, okay. Cass Flack, with single action or dual action airbrush? What's your brand? Is it a tester's brand? That could it's have a been dual. Your, it's a dual? Yeah. Yeah. That's good. Dual action's the way to go. Um, I've done some minis with airbrushes. I don't like using them myself, personally. Uh, I prefer just the good old steady paintbrush. And sometimes, like, I gotta almost meditate if I'm doing super fine miniatures. And I'm just like, when I do like the lenses on Space Marine Eyes, I have to like, yeah. And like do the like slow exhale to like calm your body and yeah. then I like do a line of red and then like I wait five minutes and I have to do it again and do a line of orange. And, yeah. You know, I'm just gonna splash this up here. This guy's base coat's taking more paint than I thought it would. Not in a bad way. Just... Yeah. I generally only use it for priming or large areas. Yeah, yeah, that's see, basically yeah, yeah. what I use it for is that in base coats. I use airbrushes extensively when I do like automotive models and stuff, scale, scale stuff like that. I'm actually working on a P51D uh, um, aircraft right now. Actually, it's that. The uh, box it. Yeah, it's that box. So I'm working on that right now. And uh, I just primed it and I'm going to use the airbrush to do like a gunmetal exterior on it so the fun thing is I never had to buy an airbrush when Laura went to makeup school so I always used my dad's if I needed them he always let me borrow them and he's got some pretty fancy ones then when Laura went to school part of her tuition went towards like a $500 airbrush uh, that like she uses is supposed to use for like body makeup and stuff like that but she doesn't care that I use it for models, so that's real nice. Okay. Where are we here now? Yes, it does look like chocolate. You're right, Justin. No, it looks yummy. Um, I mean, you really look at it? No. Got a so right under the oh, sorry, one <laughs> right under the base here. There's just this little spot I can't get a real hard. So I'm gonna shove. So yeah, also <laughs> just shove this in here. Yeah, I'm just gonna fucking basically try and get paint in there till it catches. Um, one of the biggest advices I could give people is have a set of good brushes and have a set of bad brushes. So if like you ever just need to ram a brush into a space, you can do it. And so I constantly cycle through these like $5 sets from uh, Michaels, especially cause like whenever they send me a coupon, they're like, hey, 50% off one regular price item. I'm like, yup. And then I go and pay like $3 for a set of 10 brushes and I like throw them away a month later. And... That's what, um. One of my painting instructors at school, she was like, 
don't like because our one in, one of our instructors was very much you must wash your brushes and keep good care of them. Yeah. And the other one who painted for a living, who was a guest instructor, said just buy new brushes. Yeah. Right. Like, just like every like six months, just buy new brushes. Yeah. Uh, paint one to look like Justin, one with noodle hair. Uh, well, I'm working. That, on... Oh, that's gonna be pride. Noodle hair? Yeah. There, here he is. Oh yeah. Pride. P -p -p pride. It was Justin right there. Yeah. I'd say the most accurate part of this are his feet. I don't know if you guys can see this, but this is literally what the back of Justin's feet look like. I have to go to the doctor. Yeah, well, I've been I mean, putting it off. Yeah. But. For about 20 years. Yeah. Since birth. I, I was there when Justin was born. That's not true. I, well, yeah. You're older than me. That's true. Oh, this guy's gonna be a nightmare to paint. You just caught me in the middle of my life. No, look like an asshole. Is this, this is the guy you're doing last? Yeah. Yeah. Because I wanna, I just really wanna figure out how, like, you know, because every mini, every material holds stuff differently, and that's kind of the point of primers to make sure it doesn't hold stuff differently. But at the end of the day, like, resin's still gonna, you know, work a little bit differently from plastics and stuff like that. No. Yeah. <sighs> These guys are resin, and resin doesn't always hold well, but... So, I'm just waiting, giving this guy the Vallejo, they take a little bit longer to dry than the Warhammer paints, about a minute, so I'm just giving this guy about a minute here. I can see a few spots that look a little wet still, so I'm just gonna let that kind of air dry real quick, and then I'm gonna hit him with a wash. So while I'm letting him dry, I'm gonna rummage through my thing here. And kind of think like what do I want my wash to be um, like do I want it hmm I want a black wash brass wash <laughs> it's got metal gray <laughs> I got this but that leaves like a I don't like that one though it's just still should I do a black black's basically the only thing that's going to show up on him hmm I knew I brought one of these. Oh man. Speaking of Vallejo paints and what, like, the bomb diggity they are, they'll make a color like this. What have I used that for? Nothing. I bought it immediately. <laughs> <laughs> no, man, you could use that for fucking pride. Yeah, probably. Yeah, like, actually. Oh shit. Yeah, like, actually, we could use yeah. that for pride. Like, Neon yellow was a color of them. Yeah, I just I bought that and I was like, that is so impractical and not gonna work with anything I'm working on, but I'm gonna do it. So how'd you start painting minis? Question for the floor and also for you, James. Um, man, like when I was a kid, I spent most of my summers in Saskatchewan visiting my grandparents and like, have you guys been to Saskatchewan? Uh, show the color again. Uh, it's it's all the, yeah. the neon yellow. Yeah. Like this is, yeah, this is like raver yellow. That's actually perfect for pride, that's funny. Yeah, like the camera doesn't do justice to how neon this is. Like it literally looks atomic. But, is it called atomic? No, it's fluorescent yellow. I'm, I'm mar oh no, it's not yellow fluo. Fluorescent, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> um, but yeah, I don't know if you guys have ever been to Saskatchewan, but there's like a whole lot of sweet fuck all to do out there. It's so. very flat. It's flatter than here. Yeah, it's flatter than <laughs> Alberta for sure. <laughs> Use that for glowy parts of Space Marines or a War Machine faction. Just have the neon yellow striker team. I think I, I might. I, uh, I tried using it and it does not cover at all. Like I. I actually used it to highlight red because when it dried, it dried basically transparent but a little bit lighter. And I was like, okay, so this needs a lot of yellow base coat. So the first trial run of that color is going to be on the Space Marine, mm -hmm. the yellow Space Marine. Okay, I think he's about ready for a wash. Uh, nice. I think I want to take a fan vote here. Black wash or flesh wash? Flesh wash! You're not a fan. Uh oh. Can I see the two colors? Well, there's the flesh, and I'm pretty sure you know what black is, and it's in here somewhere. Yeah, I know what black is. <laughs> I know what black is. What do you think it's dull? Oh, well, I guess I could do a green wash, but like that would not show up at all. It would look black. <laughs> here it is. Noon gnome oil, or 
Seraphim. We got a black wash from Insert Straw here. Flesh gonna be dark enough to show up. Uh, actually. This flesh is like a brown. Well, yeah, it's like brown, but it would be black, dark enough to show up because we base coated it with white. So you can see the recesses, some of them. Man, that's not good. The recesses, some recesses are still quite light, so that flesh is guaranteed to get in there uh, and clean those up if we want flesh wash. But we did get a black wash and people don't seem keen on flesh wash, so here we go, black wash. I voted green wash. No, you didn't. Oh, shut up. Shut up! <laughs> you said flesh wash. I did. You're out. I did, I got outvoted. Yeah. It's okay, I understand. Look at this, painting with James. My advice for painting is take a paintbrush and just slam it on whatever you want to paint. Just slam it. <laughs> Copyright pogs. Ow. Yeah, it serves you right. Here, let's just see if I can get more light. There we go. Is that better? Yeah, that better looks for you. neat. That looks neat. Uh, and I just threw wash all over. Oh well. My favorite part of painting miniatures is like when you first get started because everything is so messy and you're just like, what am I even doing? Yeah, I'm looking at this and I'm just like, this was a mistake. <laughs> James, you want to come paint my other's minis? James oh, is not a god, painting. no. What has he done? <laughs> <laughs> I really just need an excuse to come over and huff that paint. Yeah. <laughs> just help me, I'll help me. I'll some. You got a primer, right? Yeah, I'm there. How often have you stripped models and started over? Like, never. I commit to my mistakes. Yeah. I'm still with Laura. No! Because <laughs> <laughs> she won't watch this. Yeah, I know. I love her to death. I'm kidding. Yeah. She's what keeps me humble. Um, no, I, I like... it. I have to lose detail in like painting way too thick to make me want to strip and start over. But yeah, like I say, I, I commit to my mistakes quite, quite heavily. Mm -hmm. Man, I do not like these new shade paints, but whatever. Okay, look at that. He's all shaded out. The nice thing is for the next coat here, the I didn't actually let him dry enough. I didn't actually dry him enough apparently. So like this little. Part. Oh, he looks delicious now. Oh, I can't listening. Uh, so yeah, I actually ended up washing a little bit of the high high parts off, which is wicked because that no, I know those need to be covered when I dry brush. So like some people that might annoy him, but like I don't know, Bob Ross it, I guess. Yeah, just try it. Everybody makes mistakes. You need more paper towel. I don't need more. Paper towel. I'm just saying if you do. Yeah, yeah you got a whole roll there. Thank you. I appreciate that. Now I'm just gonna start playing Smite over here. Are you? No. <laughs> Can you imagine? I, I could. I wouldn't really be offended. Um, okay, so while this guy's wash dries, we're gonna base coat another guy. Sick! Yeah. More <gasps> chocolate. More chocolate. Let's go with one of these arm reachers. Have you done bowling guy yet, or is that the first guy? You That's. Did? No. Yeah, it is. Yeah, he's a bowler. Yeah. Yeah, he's the bowler. Bowler hat. I like this guy though. He looks kind of cute from the profile. What do you think, Justin? Yeah, he's adorable. Yeah, he's kind of got a cute profile. Like a, you just come home, and he's just like, I, oh, made, I made you dinner. I'm, I am sloth. Come join me on the couch. I have about a dozen Legion of Everblight models, and they're red, black, gold. But I want to change to blue, black, to blue, white, silver. Sorry. Yeah. So I can either buy new models or just repaint or strip them all, all and start over. Um, what? Do you use to strip? I took off my clothes. Yeah, you're funny. Coming from fucking asshole who made your Majula Oblongata joke earlier? You're dead to me! Um, I, uh, cause if you go to Walmart, there's like this in the cleaning section, sometimes in the automotive, it's like called like super purple degreaser or something like that. Um, and white spirit, what? Um, but yeah, anyways, uh, and it, it doesn't <clears throat> hurt, I don't know about resins, but it doesn't hurt plastics. I've stripped, I bought a lot of pre-owned Warhammer and stripped with it. I feel like War Machine has a lot of names of swapping the different lists, so I just need them to match. 
I don't know, I've never played War Machine or Horde because I saw that and I was like, why would I use that dumb machine when I have plenty of Dreadnoughts? I don't know if you guys know this about me, but I am pretty firmly in the Warhammer camp when it comes to my war games. And that's just because I don't think anything has ever looked as cool as the classic Space Ring. It's just the perfect amount of machismo for me. Classic James. My, my dick saw a Space Marine and was like, that's what men are. That's, yeah, and so now ever since then, everything else, I'm like, Space Marine wannabe. Which is how you can tell I'm a fanboy, but I actually think Games Workshop is like the worst company in the world, so... Kind of hypocritical of me. <laughs> and at least you're saying it. Yeah. Uh, we're going to experiment with this one. We're not even going to do a base coat. We're going to start with a flesh wash. Okay. Yeah, we're going to see how that goes. Just a straight wash to start. Ooh. He looks like poop. He does, that does look like poop. Yeah. But I mean, realistically, man, like I just, I always ask myself, like I don't buy or paint Warhammer to play the game. I do it because I like the hobby, I like the sculpts, I, all that stuff, right? Um, and so it sucks that they're so fucking expensive when you just want to do it as a hobby. So if you're doing War Machine and stuff like that and you you feel like you just want them to match for aesthetics, not gameplay-wise, I might not go through the trouble, but if like you find a lot of fun in doing it, like, yeah, by all means, like strip them and Go to town. I know I would. I've actually... Games Workshop has been pretty smart lately, I think. Maybe not price point wise, but they realize that Warhammer kind of sucks really heavily. Uh, and so, like, they killed uh, Fantasy, which kind of sucks because Fantasy was pretty in-depth and neat if you were into it. Mm -hmm. uh, but Age of Sigmar here is crap, and I've never actually read the rules, but like I've heard it's such crap that it actually turned me off the game. That's what I've heard too. <laughs> uh, and especially the admittance price. And I don't really like that the starting army or their new like ethereal cast, whatever they're called. If they gave me like some orcs and some lizard men to fight, I'd probably hop right on board. Yeah. Um, I was going to say earlier that it was poop and not chocolate, but I don't want to be uh, negativity here. And Justin was being amazingly upbeat, so I don't want to take him back down to the dark place that he usually lives. Well, thank you for the consideration, but here's my secret. I'm always in the dark place. Oh, yeah. I'm always in the okay, Bruce, man. Oh, no, I said sad, not angry. I said you're always in the dark place. Yeah, which is sad. Yeah, well, you rent a house without lights. No, the lights are starting to work, but now our doors are going. <laughs> take your pick. Yeah. Um, I'd pick doors. I would also always want doors to work. Yeah. <laughs> oh good, the lights are on, but I can't fucking get out of my house. <laughs> um, yeah, I've heard the opposite, that, that, I mean, like, that, I've just heard nothing, no, nothing good about Age of, um, uh, Age of Sigma, but I imagine I'm just reading that in an echo chamber of people who are unsatisfied. I think it's, uh... It's so vastly different from Warhammer Fantasy, which it's replacing, mm -hmm. is I think what people are upset about. Um, when really it's like comparing two different products and two different styles of game, but... Yeah, people usually, they just, when they get upset, they kind of just sit and they're upset, right? Yeah. Yeah. And so what I, what I was going to say though is like for the 40,000 stuff, it's really cool if you're a fan of... It, they are coming out with a whole bunch of board games and a whole bunch of them are based around the Horus Heresy. So they're coming out with all these old school, like 30,000 models now. And they just released one little board game called The Burning of Prospero. Um, and it's got my favorite faction, the Thousand Sons. I think they, those are the Egyptian looking Chaos Marines. Mm -hmm. I think they're so cool. So it's got those guys in it, but it also is for the first time ever Games Workshop issued Adeptus Custos, which are the space means that protect the God Emperor. So like really cool stuff like that. Like they're really catering to the fans now. Yeah. And I think that's real smart. And like I <gasps> bought that Lost Patrol board game. I yeah, bought yeah. Space Hulk, which is phenomenal. I love Space Hulk. It's so good. Um, I like this. The staff in my friendly local game shop says it's pretty great, but sales do not seem to support it, and I never see anyone play it in the store ever. 
Uh, yeah, I avoid Games Workshop at all costs. And oh, that's not a, no, that's not a Games Workshop. That's a what? Uh, at, at the game store that you, uh, the friendly local game shop. Oh. Too much horse, horse heresy. heresy. Who really is playing all those? What do you mean? There's only like three or four horse heresy ones. Two actually: Betrayal at Colf and Burning of Prospero. But. Anyways, it's just, like I say, above all else, I do this for hobby, because, like, I started off doing, like, cars and aircraft and things like that. Um, and then just the aesthetics of Warhammer. I just like the aesthetics of it is really all it comes down to. Um, and, uh, like I say, it's just really cool being a fan of Warhammer and hearing, like, knowing about some of the lore, even though the lore is fucking stupid, but I think it's good, because Games Workshop really seems to be moving away from taking themselves seriously. But not enough, because they actually just came out with what I think is the coolest army, uh, the Gene Stealer cult. Because hmm. it's just like, the whole thing with Gene Stealers is just that, they're Gene Stealers, and so they actually like infiltrate human populations with politicians and stuff that are like hybrids. But like, they didn't, they didn't do enough to actually like flush them out is really fun or cool sort of thing. Yeah, they just kind of gave you like a few base troops and stuff, so. Oh, is it? Wow. What is there's this? Look at this board game. Oh, but that's not like your standard, like the the board games are coming out with, sorry, not, uh, is that one by games or That's Fantasy Flight, isn't it? Yeah, fantasy play. Yeah, so the ones actually buy Games Workshop, the, all the miniatures in them, you can also be dual purposed as army miniatures. Mm. So while you buy a board game, you pay that price of admittance, but you can also repurpose all those miniatures you've used, painted and used for that board game. You can repurpose them into uh, an army if you have them. So. Yeah, there was a, a lot of like, because um, Fantasy Flight and Games Workshop, they ended their. Uh, their contract, yeah. So like stuff like Blood Bowl. Now you gotta go, you gotta you had to get it while the iron was hot because it's not gonna be printed anymore. I'm really like, excited that the tabletop is coming out. Oh yeah, yeah you know I'm getting that, and we are gonna play some Blood Bowl. Yeah, that's the only, that's that's right. That's that's the only way they're selling those. I want to know who's actually playing them as a board game. And I imagine they were used more commonly for the minis than the actual board game themselves. I think what happens more than anything else is people buy them for the minis. Play the game once or twice, and then kind of pack like, away the game and use the minis. minis. Yeah, I would agree with that. Um, but I haven't tried Betrayal at Call or anything because for me the price of admittance is too high for 170 bucks. Yeah. But I will eventually get the Overkill with the Death Watch because it's got all those cool cuts, like miniatures that aren't available anywhere else of the Gene Stealer Cult. Uh, so I will eventually buy that one and see how that goes. But like Lost Patrol and Space Hulk have infinite replayability. But I hear Lost Patrol is actually a giant sack of shit. So we'll mm. find out when I finish the uh, miniatures. Yeah. Which is soon. I only got two guys left. Nice. And then I'm not painting the Gene Steelers. Those are just going to get painted whenever. Yeah. But very similar to these guys where they're very fleshy and organic. So, like, I'm kind of using these as a bit of a test bed. Mm -hmm. But So these guys, all their washes are still both drying. So that's kind of why we're just chatting now. Um, I wish I had something else I could really start working on but i guess i could work on one of those guys but i don't really want to one of the heroes well uh, like because they're oh. they already got oh, yeah. base coats and yeah, everything yeah. on them so well i'm gonna stop actually the youtube recording here no but we'll do a new one oh